obviously you probably would have other withholdings as well depending on the state that you're in local withholdings you could have union dues and whatnot and then you could have voluntary types of withholdings which could be things like the 401k plan healthcare plans and so on and so forth we're going to stick to just the federal income tax withholdings or the federal withholdings which are going to be the mandatory or required types of withholdings the fit meaning federal income tax not our tax that we pay as the employer as the company but the employee's tax the one that they ultimately will pay you know on their 1040 or report on the 1040 but we're going to be doing the withholding for them for that that tax is a progressive tax quite a complex tax so we can't just do a flat calculation for it we'd have to use the w4 and then the w4 would tell us all the stuff they would be based on the marital status and so on and extra exemptions and whatnot then we'd have to use a table to figure it out and software is quite useful with regards to the fit given the fact that it is quite complicated so we're not going to we're not going to get into the detail on that i'm just going to say it was 720 we're going to assume we get that from the software from the from the w4 and so on and so forth the social security is a bit more flat of attack so i could say this is typically going to be equal to the gross pay times 0.0.062 now that could change like to increase later on in the tax but at least it's kind of flat although again it does have a cap on it at some point in time so if the income goes over a certain threshold then there's a cap so it does get quite complicated payroll also gets quite complicated due to the fact that you have to report this on a period by period basis as well as a year to date basis on the pay stub you also have the reporting requirements